Hello viewers and welcome to another episode of Trash Talk on Lancer. In today's topic, Monarch. The Monarch Butterfly, a North American butterfly with very distinctive features. Well known for their look and their thousands miles migration, there is a little known fact about the Monarch that not many people know. It's poisonous. The plants they ingested when they are mere caterpillars contain poison that the butterflies store to make them undesirable for predators to consume them. And Monarch the mech decided to up that undesirableness to nuclear level. Looking at its stat, the Monarch has average health and evasion with a nice single armor point. Its speed is good considering how big it is with an average heat cap and E-defense too. Its sensor range is excellent and it can do tech attack well too. As for its traits, Monarch has two of them. First is the Avenger Silos, for once per round, whenever you score a critical hit with a ranged weapon, you can immediately fire a missile at a different target in range 15 and line of sight for 3 explosive damage without rolling. Essentially, when you crit, you can attack two targets at once. You will start to see a similar theme throughout Monarch License 2. Its second trait, Seeking Payload. Upon consuming a lockout, your launcher weapon gains Seeking Tag, which means your attack can ignore cover and line of sight. And damage from the attack cannot be reduced by any means at all. If you like missiles, you're gonna like Monarch a lot. This got even better with its weapon mounts, packing a flex, a main and a heavy. Unfortunately, it's rather low on base system point with only five of them. Oh, and its core power? Your Avenger silos unleash divine punishment upon everyone around you. Which mean? Yes. Ha, you must be expecting- Justice Damn it. reigns from above! Anyway, every, single, target, up to 50 squares away from your mech will lead a fucking missile. If you cannot even understand how big 50 squares is, your map probably isn't remotely that big and will soon be covered in missiles. Each target will get 1d6 plus 4 damage up their ass, no matter where or how many walls of cover they have. You don't even need a direct line of sight to them, the missiles will find their way towards a target no matter what. While not everything on the map is gonna die from that damage, everything on the map is gonna feel their pain. On to the rest of the license, you get more bloody missiles, starting with sharing the missiles and javelin rockets. Sharanga Missiles is a launcher weapon that can launch two missiles at two targets at once, dealing three damages to each target. I know what you are thinking, can I shoot two missiles at one target? No, if there's only one valid target, that guy gets only one missile. The Javelin Rockets on the other hand is a system. Basically, it's an area denial weapon. Pick three spaces within range 15 and your line of sight that aren't adjacent to each other and your mech will launch the rockets towards the spots. If a character passes through, fly through or start their turn in those spaces, they get nailed by the rocket, receiving 3 damage automatically. Sounds good, until you realize that your enemies know exactly where those rockets will end up on and all rockets will land and explode harmlessly on the ground at the start of your next turn. Also, each rocket is only good for one time, so after a character passed through a spot and got blown up, that spot is now danger free to pass through. Moving on the second section, you get Stabilizer Mod and Gandiva missiles aside from getting the Monarch frame itself. Stabilizer Mod. You get 5 plus range on your modded launcher or cannon. However, they now have Ordnance Tag. Which mean when you want to fire them, you must fire them ahead of all other actions or movements, aside from protocol, and you can't use it against targets in engagement with your mech, and you can't use it for Overwatch. Of course, if you can bear with all of that, go ahead. Gandiva Missiles. Smart, seeking, accurate. It's gonna hard to miss with this missile and it has a long reach too dealing damage all the way to range 15. However, you need one system point to install it, it's gonna be well worth the price though. Finally in the third section, you get Pinnacle Missiles and Tlaloc Class NHP. Pinnacle Missiles. 
is a super heavy class missile weapon that basically launches giant capital missiles at its target, two of them in fact. Upon firing, you get to pick two areas which cannot overlap, so you can see whatever that's on those areas vaporized completely. Or it would be if the damage isn't only just 2d6. Of course, there's plenty of ways to stack bonus damage, and although bonus damage for area of effect weapons are halved, that's still a lot of damages on so many targets. You can, of course, increase the damage of the missile to 3d6 by delaying the impact. Your mech will be slowed, your missiles will only land on the end of next turn, and your enemies can easily see where it is going. But whatever those missiles about to land on should start preparing to say goodbye to the cruel world. And finally, Tlaloc class and HP. Upon activation, if you miss any melee or ranged attack, you can immediately re-roll the attack against any target in range, threat or same area of effect as long as it's not the first person you fired at. However, you can only perform this re-roll once per attack, meaning you have two chances to hit at max. On top of that, a target hit by this attack, either from the re-roll or not, cannot be targeted again. Oh, and you are immobilized too until the start of your next turn. While the drawback is annoying, Laloc will ensure that you will hit something no matter what, unless your luck is that bad. Overall, Monarch is not just for those who like missiles, but also for those that want to engage multiple targets head-on accurately. A speedy giant that carries enough munitions to blow out an entire block, Monarch is perfect for those that want to blow stuff up. The missile knows where it is at all times. It knows this because it knows where it isn't. By subtracting where it is from where it is or where it isn't, 